السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اینڈ ویلکم بیک ٹو آن لائن کلاسز آف اقرا فاسٹ بوائے سیکنڈری اسکولس اینڈ کالجز آ پروجیکٹ آف اقرا ایجوکیشن سسٹم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ان دا لاسٹ ویڈیو لیکچر وی ڈسکسڈ اباؤٹ دا ورڈس اینڈ میننگز آف چیپٹر نمبر فور پوم دا لٹل تھنگس الانگ ود دی انٹروڈکشن ٹو دا پوم اینڈ دا پوئٹس ٹوڈے ان دس ویڈیو لیکچر I am going to explain and summarize this whole poem stanza by stanza. So let's start the summary and explanation of it. Stanza number one, little drops of water, little grains of sand, make the mighty ocean and the pleasant land. In these lines of the poem, little things The poetess Julia Carney is focusing on the importance of little things. She says that these are the little drops which make the mighty oceans. The oceans cannot come into existence without little drops. In the same way, the vast and the beautiful land is made up of little grains of sand. So, we cannot avoid the importance of little things. Their significance is unbeaten. Stanza number two. And the little moments, humble though they be, make the mighty ages of eternity. The poetess is emphasizing on the significance of little things by giving us the example of little moments of the time. She is saying that Mighty ages of eternity are made by the little moments though they are unassuming and we do not feel them as pending but actually they are important because vast periods of time depend upon these moments. We do not give them importance but they are important in real than large periods of time. Stanza number three. So our little errors lead the soul away from the paths of virtue into sin to stray. In these lines of the poem, Little Things, the poetess is giving us a moral lesson by showing the importance of little things. As big and great things are made up of little things, so our little doings matter a lot. Our little errors and mistakes mislead our soul and make our mind dirty that we lose the ability to differentiate between right and wrong. These little mistakes lead our soul away from right path. So we should not commit little mistakes considering them unimportant. Stanza number four. Little deeds of kindness Little words of love make our world an Eden like the heaven above. We learn from these lines that little activities of kindness and sympathy that we do for others make this earth peaceful like an Eden. Little words of love and affection give comfort to the others. And it can fill our surroundings with love, harmony and peace. In this way, our lives may become more comfortable and our society may become like a heaven. So we cannot neglect the importance of little deeds and we should keep on doing little virtues. Little deeds and words of love and kindness make this world a happy place to live. Hence we can say that kindness has its own importance. Mother Teresa once said, we cannot do great things on this earth. Only small things with great love. My dear brothers, small acts of kindness resonate in all our lives. For example, letting someone go past in front of you in a traffic jam or stopping to talk with an elderly neighbor even though you are in a rush or lending a helping hand to a co-worker who is slow on their project even though this means that you will have to stay late at work. My students, kindness means a behavioral response 
of compassion and actions that are selfless or a mindset that places compassion for others before one's own interests. In performing these selfless acts, a person may undercut their own interest. In fact, kindness is linked inextricably to happiness and contentment at both psychological and spiritual levels. I have a question to you. Why do random acts of kindness increase a person's sense of happiness? Why do random acts of kindness increase a person's sense of happiness? Because kindness can promote gratitude. You are kind to others in need. Having that awareness then heightens the sense of your own good fortune. Kindness promotes empathy and compassion which in turn leads to a sense of interconnectedness with others. When you feel connected with others, you lessen alienation and you enhance a sense that we are more similar than dissimilar in our own experiences. Feeling connected joins us together rather than dividing us. Kindness is important in strengthening a sense of community and belonging. Okay, let me tell you some physical and mental benefits of kindness. A researcher, Barbara Fredrickson, had an interesting viewpoint. She says that kindness, specifically loving kindness, moves us out of the selfish realm. Compassion and kindness also reduce stress, boost our immune systems, and help reduce negative emotions such as anger, anxiety and depression. When we practice random acts of kindness, it releases positivity, which means we feel better. It can also release neurochemicals that result in a sense of well-being. It enhances the release of oxytocin in interactions where two or more people are engaged in kindness behavior. In turn, bonds and love between those who are kind to one another become strong. Let me tell you what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam instruct us about kindness. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most gracious. Allah the exalted said, Verily, Allah is kind and merciful to the people. Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter number 2, part number 143. And Allah said, There has certainly come to you a messenger from among yourselves. Grievous to him is what you suffer, for he is concerned over you, and to the believers he is kind and merciful. Surah Tawbah, chapter number 9, verse number 128. And Allah said, Then we sent our messengers in their footsteps and follow them with Jesus, the son of Mary, and gave him the gospel. We placed him in the hearts of those who followed him kindness and mercy. Surah Hadith, chapter number 57, part number 27. And Allah said, Speak to Firaun mildly, that perhaps he may be reminded or fear Allah. Surah Tawha, chapter number 20, part number 44. And Allah said, Woe to those who pray, who are heedless of their prayer, who pray to be seen and withhold small acts of kindness. Surah Maun, chapter number 107, verses number 4 to 7. Hadrat Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha reported, The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, said, O Aisha, Allah is kind and he loves kindness in all matters. Sahih Bukhari, Hadith number 6528. Hadrat Aisha reported, The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, said, O Aisha, Allah is gentle and he loves gentleness and he rewards for gentleness what is not granted for harshness and he does not reward anything else like it. 
صحیح مسلم حدیث نمبر 2593 ابو دردہ رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ ریپورٹڈ the messenger of Allah peace and blessings be upon him said whoever is given his portion of kindness has been given his portion of goodness and whoever is deprived of his portion of kindness has been deprived of his portion of goodness Sunan Tarmizi Hadith number 2013 Hadrat Jubair Azil reported Allah has named the Prophet as kind and merciful Sahih Muslim Hadith number 2354 In the end there are many Hadith there are many verses but I am quoting you some of them Abu Sulaiman who reported the Prophet was kind hearted and merciful Sahih Bukhari Hadith number 5662 So my dear brothers success comes from Allah and Allah knows the best I hope through these verses of Holy Quran and through Hadith of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam you must have got to understand the importance of kindness and kind words we hope that we will try to inculcate this kindness and we will try to speak loving words to the people who we talk or meet we will meet again inshallah in the next lecture till then take very good care of yourselves assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh